Get in the fast lane, Grandma. Sports and that is about to start. Football, hockey, and baseball have all contributed to this cherished image we have of the city of champions. But there was a time back there in the dust when a professional basketball team held the city in its thrall. Like most things in the 60s, it came and went with such a fleeting flash, it gets lost in the shuffle. So how about a little retro love for those oldies but goodies, the Pittsburgh Pipers? The year was 1967. America was still reaching for the moon while fighting a war in Vietnam and striving to create the Great Society. There's unconditional war on poverty in America. The Beatles were still together. The summer of love was in the lexicon. And boy, I wish I had a mulligan on that one. The Boston Celtics were deep into their NBA dynasty at the time. And an upstart league named the American Basketball Association introduced revolutionary ideas like the three-point shot and the red, white, and blue basketball. Pittsburgh's entry in the ABA was called the Pipers, and no sports team in the city's long history ever arrived with more of a splash and left in such a hurry. The star player was Connie Hawkins, who had played for a team called the Pittsburgh Wrens, a name associated with Renaissance, in the old American Basketball League. Because of a trumped-up charge of consorting with gamblers, Hawkins was expelled from Iowa and banned from the NBA. But when the Pipers debuted for the 1967-68 season, Hawkins was clad in the orange and blue of the Pipers uniform. Blessed with huge hands and silky smooth moves, the Hawk led the league in scoring and made the all-star team, while the Pipers averaged 3,200 fans a game. The Pipers won two rounds of the playoffs before squaring off with the New Orleans Buccaneers for the ABA's inaugural title. The Pipers avoided elimination by winning game six on the road and then secured the title with a 122-113 win in game seven at home in front of 11,457 customers. That game was played on May 4th a date that fell between the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Bobby Kennedy. A championship should have secured the future of pro basketball in the city, but inexplicably, the Pipers moved to Minnesota for their second season. They then moved back after a year, but bewildered fans felt betrayed. The Pipers tried out a new identity as the Pioneers, but that nickname was already taken by Point Park University. Eventually, they were reborn as the Condors, an ungainly bird that fed on carrion flesh and was symbolically on the endangered species list. The Condors had a 25-59 record in their final season of 1971-72 and then went extinct. In the one year he played in Pittsburgh, Connie Hawkins was the playoff MVP and played well enough to secure a spot on the all-time ABA team. His Pipers had their moment in the sun, but he went on to a Hall of Fame career with the Phoenix Suns. Pro hoops in the city? It's largely gone the way of the red, white, and blue ball. And you have been a beautiful audience. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Dvorak has just left the building.